composition of air. Air is a mixture of several gases. Two main constituents of air are nitrogen and oxygen. Apart from them, air also contains other gases. Gases present in air percentage Nitrogen 78% Oxygen 21% Carbon dioxide 0.03% Inert gases 0.93% Dust particles and moisture Variable Do you know? Till 18th century, it was believed that air was a pure substance. Determination of percentage of various constituents of air by volume Oxygen and Nitrogen Air is a mixture of gases, namely nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, dust and smoke as pollutants. While this activity proves that air contains approximately 21% of oxygen, it also establishes that rest of the air, that is four-fifths of air, is composed of gases which do not support burning. As air contains 78% of nitrogen, therefore, it is proved that nitrogen is neither a supporter of burning nor life. So, what is the exact use of nitrogen for living beings? Nitrogen dilutes the action of oxygen. That is, rate of combustion is controlled because of the presence of nitrogen in air. It indirectly reaches plant and is used by plants for making proteins. We all need proteins for growth and repair as they are building blocks of the body of all living beings. Let us perform the activity to learn about the various constituents of air. Activity To show the presence of oxygen and nitrogen in air. Take a test tube and mark five equal columns in it with the help of a colored pen as shown here. Place a small piece of phosphorus in the test tube and fix a cotton wool plug over it. Inverge the test tube in a beaker. Pour water in the beaker such that the level of water inside and outside the test tube is at zero mark. Leave the test tube undisturbed for one hour in the inverted position. After one hour, check the level of water inside the test tube. You will find that the level of water in the test tube rises up by one centimeter. Why there is a rise in water level inside the test tube? It is because oxygen present in air inside the test tube slowly reacts with phosphorus to form phosphorus pentoxide. Phosphorus plus oxygen gives phosphorus pentoxide. As the volume of oxygen is completely removed by phosphorus, the pressure of air within the test tube falls. To make up for this loss in pressure, air from outside forces the water up to rise in the test tube. As we have already learned that air contains approximately 20% of oxygen by volume. We can see that the level of water rises by 1 cm out of 5 cm. It proves that air contains 1 part of oxygen and 4 parts of nitrogen and other gases which do not help in burning. Fact Human activities have caused changes in the composition of air. The biggest changes have occurred since the Industrial Revolution of the 19th century when people started burning carbon fuels on a large scale. Carbon dioxide 
makes up a larger part of air today than it ever did before carbon dioxide air also contains carbon dioxide let us perform the activity to show that air contains carbon dioxide activity to show that air contains carbon dioxide take lime water in a test tube it is a colorless liquid and close the mouth of the test tube with a two holed cork fix two delivery tubes in each hole in such a way that one end of the first delivery tube dips in lime water while that of other delivery tube should remain much above the level of lime water now either suck air from the end b or attach a vacuum pump to it to suck air as air is sucked from b air from a end will bubble into lime water to take the place of displaced air what do you observe lime water gradually turns milky since it is the property of lime water to turn milky on absorbing carbon dioxide therefore this activity proves that air also contains carbon dioxide do you know the composition of air varies from place to place and there is no specific formula for air water vapor it is a common observation that as soon as you pour cold water in a glass the outer surface of the glass first looks misty and later you see water trickling down the surface of glass when you pour cold water in a glass its walls become cool the water vapor present in air condenses on the outer surface of glass and changes to water which you see trickling down its surface this proves that air contains water vapor the presence of water vapor can also be tested with a blue cobalt chloride paper it turns pink on coming in contact with the moisture of the air similarly anhydrous copper sulfate which is white in color turns blue on coming in contact with water vapor of the air when the content of water vapor increases in air we say that it is very humid when humidity increases in air the rate of evaporation is very low and it takes longer to dry clothes on the other hand during summers when air is very dry you are advised to drink lot of water before going out to check the presence of water vapor in exhaled air stand in front of a mirror and breathe out with force you will notice that the mirror turns misty why the water vapor in your warm breath condenses on the surface of mirror and mirror gets misty in winters your breath comes out like smoke because air is so cool that condensation of water vapor is immediate and condensed water vapor looks like smoke do you know it is easy to forget that we are surrounded by air but without it many of the things that we take for granted could not happen for example if you take a car to the moon it would not work because there is no air this is why astronauts have to use an electric car when they explore the moon henry cavendish henry cavendish frs 10 october 1731 to 24 february 1810 was a british scientist noted for his discovery of hydrogen or what he called inflammable air he described the density of inflammable air which formed water on combustion in a 1766 paper on fictitious airs antoine lavoisier later reproduced cavendish's experiment and gave the element its name cavendish is also known for the cavendish experiment his measurement of earth's density and early research into electricity